Lauren Greenfield is a photographer and director from Los Angeles. Most of her work focuses on women, specifically young women, who have been exploited, dehumanized, sexualized by media and culture, specifically the culture of Los Angeles. In interviews, Lauren has considered herself a documentarian and a visual anthropologist, which makes sense since her photography usually falls into the categories of ethically evaluative, theoretical, and interpretive. Most of Lauren's photos use bright and saturated colors, and her lighting and composition tend to highlight her models, which makes sense considering the fact that her photography is very human-based rather than nature-based. Her work has been featured in a lot of art installations, film festivals, she's directed multiple documentaries, and she's very well known for the Like a Girl campaign. The first picture of Lauren's I wanted to look at is titled Exotic Dancer Tammy, 25, backstage at Little Darlings, the largest fully nude strip club in the United States, Las Vegas, 1995. This picture can fall under ethically evaluative, theoretical, and arguably the interpretive categories. She used the rule of thirds, side and top lighting, and complementary colors. This photo did a lot for destigmatizing sex workers, especially since this picture was taken in the 90s when there was still a very large stigma. The next picture I wanted to look at is titled Danielle 13 and Michelle 13 Catskills, New York from 2001. I'd consider this picture to be mainly ethically evaluative, but again, can also be considered theoretical. This picture also uses the rule of thirds, it also uses top and side lighting, and it uses analogous coloring. This picture has a very somber tone to it, unlike the last one where it felt very empowering and more uplifting. I think Lauren took this picture as a way to discuss eating disorders, especially in young girls, and how doing something like measuring a young girl can be really disruptive to their confidence and really harmful. This picture was taken in New York City in 2001 and is titled Sarah, 19, on her way to an audition. I'd consider this picture to be interpretive and theoretical. It also uses top and side lighting and is mostly monochromatic except for her dress, which I think was definitely done on purpose for this picture since it didn't use rule of thirds or any other techniques to highlight her as a subject. It definitely makes her stand out in the picture. Because of the lighting and the coloring of this picture, it definitely has a more hopeful and inviting tone than some of the other pictures that Lauren has taken. This picture is from 2011, taken in Los Angeles, and is titled High School Seniors Lily, 17, Nicole, 18, Lauren, 18, Luna, 18, and Sam, 17, put on their makeup in front of a two-way mirror for the author's beauty culture documentary. This picture uses direct frontal lighting and I'd say is mostly aesthetically evaluative, but could also be considered ethically evaluative and theoretical. It also uses the rule of odds. Though she used cold lighting, which would usually make a picture less inviting, I think Lauren was successful in making this picture feel comforting and inclusive. And she showed a happy experience of doing your makeup with friends, especially as a young girl. This picture was taken in New York City in 2001 and is titled Sarah 19 Walks Down the Street. This picture uses hard top lighting and a head-on perspective. Lauren took this picture in order to capture the stares and the catcalling that women, especially young women, receive from older men. This photo does not use the rule of odds, which I think was done on purpose in order to enhance the uncomfortable tone of the photo. This picture was taken in Redondo Beach, California in 1998 and is titled Contestants Fitness America Competition. For this picture, Lauren used hard side and frontal lighting. This picture is very vibrant and saturated and while the models don't follow a specific color pattern, the sky and grass follow an analogous pattern. The women being in a triangular formation creates two leading lines and brings the viewer's focus both ways. The colors in this picture enhance the very happy and empowering tone, which is great because Lauren took this picture in order to celebrate and empower women bodybuilders, something that is typically male dominated. The last picture is titled Jackie with some of her children in her living room and was taken in 2009 in Windermere. This picture uses frontal lighting, a head-on perspective, and the rule of odds. I think Lauren let this picture be cluttered in the background on purpose to portray them all in stress. Lauren took this picture in order to highlight gender roles and how even when tending to all these children, women still have to look expensive and put together. 